Hello, everybody. This is Nick Lang with the National Concrete Masonry Association here again today with your Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today, you know, things are starting to warm up as we uh, make our way towards summer. In fact, there was a couple days over this weekend here in Northern Virginia where I am, uh, where we got over 90 degrees. And one of the things to keep in mind as we start getting into these warmer months is that we need to be mindful of the weather when we're doing uh, warm weather construction. Now, uh, the requirements for warm weather construction and uh, protection of elements uh, after construction in warm weather is covered in TMS 402, TMS 602, the building code requirements and specifications for masonry structures. They're also summarized in our tech note uh, 3-1C, uh, which covers really all weather concrete masonry construction. But, uh, you know, there's lots of good information in here about what the effects of warm weather and cold weather can be as well. Uh, but the important thing to keep in mind is when do these things kick in? And for hot weather construction, they kick in at either above 100 degrees Fahrenheit or if you're above 90 degrees Fahrenheit with a wind speed greater than eight miles per hour. And that's because the combination of hot weather and wind can cause things to dry out a lot faster. So if you're getting into situations when the ambient temperature is that high or when you have a wind like that, uh, check out NCMA Tech Note 3-1C uh, to make sure that you're doing things properly to make sure your projects work out uh, the way they're intended to. So hopefully that helps you as uh, you get into uh, the warmer weather here. Uh, always something good to keep in mind. Uh, anyway, if you have a question for a future Tech Tip Tuesday, please leave it in the comments and we would be happy to get to it. Have a great day.